Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srivanila. Today's topic is Secondary Pulmonary Tuberculosis. Infection of an individual who has been previously infected or sensitized is called secondary or post-primary or reinfection or chronic tuberculosis. Apex of lung is the most common site for secondary tuberculosis. Etiology Endogenous source such as reactivation of dormant primary complex, exogenous source such as fresh dose of reinfection by tubercle bacilli. Pathogenesis The lesion begins as 1 to 2 cm apical area of consolidation of the lungs which may at time develop a small area of central cessation necrosis and peripheral fibrosis. Microscopically, it resembles typical tuberculous granuloma. It occurs by hematogenous spread of infection from primary complex to the apex of the affected lung where the oxygen tension is high and favorable for growth of aerobic tubercle bacilli. The lesion may heal with fibrous carrying and calcification. The lesions may coalesce together to form larger area of tuberculous pneumonia and produce progressive secondary pulmonary tuberculosis in form of fibrocaceous tuberculosis, tuberculous caseous pneumonia, miliary tuberculosis. Complications Fibrocaceous tuberculosis Original area of tuberculosis pneumonia undergoes Massive central cessation necrosis, which may either break into bronchus from a cavity, cavity or open fibrous caseous tuberculosis, or remain as a soft caseous lesion without drainage into a bronchus or bronchiole to produce a non cavitary lesion that is chronic fibrocaceous tuberculosis. The cavity provides favorable environment for proliferation of tubercle bacilli due to high oxygen tension. The cavity communicate with the bronchial freely and becomes the source of spread of infection. The open case of secondary tuberculosis may implant tuberculous lesion on the mucosal lining of air passage producing endobronchial and endotracheal tuberculosis. Ingestion of sputum containing tubercle bacilli from endogenous pulmonary lesion may produce laryngeal and intestinal tuberculosis. Pathology Gross appearance Tuberculous cavity is pericle with thick fibrous wall lined by yellowish caseous necrotic material and the lumen is traversed by thrombosed blood vessels. Foci of consolidation is seen around the wall. Overlying pleura may also be thickened. Microscopic examination. Wall of cavity shows isnophily granular caseous material showing foci of dystrophic calcification. Widespread coalesced tuberculous granulomas composed of epithelioid cells, Langan's joint cells, and peripheral mantle of lymphocytes and having central cessation necrosis are seen. Outer wall of cavity shows fibrosis. Tuberculous caseous pneumonia. In an individual with high degree of hypersensitivity, may show tuberculous caseous pneumonia due to spread of caseous material. Pathology. Microscopic examination. Lesion shows exudative reaction with edema, fibrin, polymorphs, and monocytes. Numerous tubercle bacilli can be demonstrated in the exudate. Miliary tuberculosis. This is lymphohematogenous spread of tuberculous uh, infection from uh, primary focus or later stages of tuberculosis. Isolated organ or systemic organs may be involved. Spread is either by entry of infection into pulmonary vein producing disseminated or isolated organ lesion or into pulmonary artery restricting the development of miliary lesion within the lungs. Pathology Gross appearance Miliary lesion are millet seed sized 1 mm yellowish film areas without grossly visible Cessation necrosis. Microscopic examination. Lesion shows the structure of tubercles with minute areas of cessation necrosis. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.